Hi everyone, Shay here. I am so excited to show you how to demo Agelot Power Mask. Now, I love this product, and as I've been using it, I've found some little tricks to get the most out of it. Knowing these tricks will definitely help you as you're demonstrating the product. So I have my friend, Courtney, here to help with this demo. You are going to love this ultra hydrating treatment. Okay, let's get started. Let me first note that it's important to start with a clean face like Courtney here. So this treatment is perfect right after cleansing and toning. Now, when you open up Power Mask, you'll notice that there are two linings, one on either side. There's a little tab for you to just pull and rip off the top part of the mask. I'll let Courtney take out the mask from there. So the mask inside the packaging is folded a little bit, so it'll take you a second just to kind of get it all open so you can see the linings that I'm referring to. Perfect, just like that. Now, it can be a little tricky to remove the outer mesh of the lining when the mask is on your face, so I recommend getting the other side started by pulling off a little corner before you place it on your face, like so. Yep, and just pull off this little corner right there. You're going to take one lining off and apply the mask to your face. Great. That looks great, Courtney. Now once the mask is on and adhering pretty well, then you can remove the lining on the other side. So you can see Courtney doing that just now. Now when you apply the mask, you want to make sure that there aren't too many gaps around your eye, your nose, or your mouth area. So you'll want to go slow so that you don't pull the mask off of your skin. Perfect, just like that, Courtney. Now you can work on fully adjusting the mask to your face. Try not to have any large gaps of skin showing beneath the mask. And feel free to take your time on this. The mask adheres to your skin really, really well. So you can tug on parts of the mask while you're adjusting it without messing up the whole mask. Now I like to start at the top of my face and work my way down. So around your eyes, you want the mask to follow your bone structure. Then you want the mask to fit around your nose. And of course, every person's face is going to be a little different. So if the mask doesn't fit perfectly, don't worry. You may need to have folds or creases in the mask for it to really form to your face. It's more important that the mask is making full contact with your skin. That looks excellent. And if there are any other parts of your face, if you mind turning to the left, Courtney, you can see that there's some little bubbling here. Feel free to pick up the mask just slightly and you can pick up and pull back to help smooth out any other bubbles you see on your face. Great. Go ahead and just sit back, relax, enjoy having the mask on your skin for about 10 to 15 minutes. You'll notice that Power Mask has a really smooth, almost gel-like consistency. That's because it's made of biocellulose, which is a really big word, I know. Biocellulose is a natural fiber that's extremely durable, but still has a very soft texture, and it's phenomenal at retaining moisture, so you won't feel the mask dry out during the treatment. So after about 10 to 15 minutes of having the mask on, I know it really hasn't been that long, you can remove the mask and massage the remaining product into your skin, like so. So after the serum is massaged into your skin, you can finish with your regular skincare regimen. And that's it. Hope everyone enjoyed learning how to demonstrate Age Lock Power Mask. Now, it's your turn. Hope you enjoyed watching. See ya.